Hello and welcome to Box Office Receipts for the weekend of March 6, 2020. I'm your host, Tyler Callahan, and first, let me apologize by not having an episode last week. I was unable to make one due to a busy schedule, but I'm now back, ready to go. Got some news to talk about along with that. We have the weekend top five international updates and what is coming out this weekend. Opening in first place is Onward from Pixar with 39.1 million. In second place is The Invisible Man with 15.1 million for a total of 52.6 million. Opening in third place is The Way Back with 8.1 million. In fourth place is Sonic the Hedgehog with 7.7 million for a total of 140.5 million. Lastly, in 5th place is The Call of the Wild with 6.7 million for a total of 57.4 million. So we will get more into the coronavirus in a bit, but it looks like it is now starting to affect new releases. Onward opening to 40 million is pretty low for a Pixar movie, but it is not clear if the virus affected it much as tracking for the movie was not overly high to begin with. For older releases, it seems to not have affected it as much as Bad Boys, just past 200 million domestic, Sonic is looking to pass 150 soon, and The Invisible Man is looking to pass 75 million in a week or two. So those movies are still making money. It looks like Mulan will be the first big test as that comes at the end of the month and is right now tracking for around 70 to 80 million. So if that comes in at say 50 or under with good reviews, you can say the virus is definitely affecting it. Looking at some individual movies, The Invisible Man dropping just under 50% is pretty good, especially for a horror movie. This movie is definitely filling a hole for horror movie fans who so far this year have been dealt crap. The Call of the Wild is also, again, doing pretty good. Just the budget, still, it kills it. Shame. Now let's look at some international numbers. Onward made 28 million internationally for worldwide opening weekend of 68 million, which is not good. Obviously, Italy and China being hit the most with the virus hurts this, but as the virus spreads around Europe, it looks like people are taking precautions and going out less. It also does not help that this is a new IP and not a part of a Pixar franchise, so the need to see it is less. The Way Back must have only opened in a few countries as it only made 640,000 for a worldwide opening weekend of 9.1 million. I hope it opens up more because even with a low budget that is not a good number. The Invisible Man has now made 45.6 million internationally for a worldwide total of 98.2 million. Sonic the Hedgehog is about to pass 300 million with it now at 295 million worldwide. Just to note about this movie, its release in Japan has been delayed due to the virus so whenever that gets cleared up it will still have China and Japan to make some more money. Call of the Wild is now at 57.7 million internationally for a worldwide total of 114.9 million. It looks like Birds of Prey will hit 200 million worldwide as it is now at 195 million. Though how much past that I'm not sure. Bad Boys for Life has now passed 400 million with it at 415 million worldwide with the virus now spreading and actually may be one of the biggest movies of the year by the time we reach December. With the numbers out of the way, let's talk about the coronavirus. Since I last talked to you, the situation has worsened, with it fully spreading in Italy and South Korea, and now starting to spread in the rest of Europe and North America. While China is slowly getting back to normal, theaters are still closed and will not be opening up until May 1st at the earliest. Besides the Chinese releases being held up by the virus, we now have our first big movie being delayed, and that is No Time to Die. The last annual Craig Bond movie was set to be released in early April, will now come out in November. Meanwhile, for other studios, they have said their releases will stay at the current date for now, but reports are that at least Universal is considering moving F9 back a few months as well. If that does get pushed back, that one makes sense as well, and I'll explain why. No Time to Die makes sense because for MGM, they have their own publishing studio domestically with United Arts releasing. They have released small movies like The Addams Family, but for them, No Time to Die was their big shot to get some more growth as a distributing studio now. Universal, meanwhile, is handling the international distribution. Right now, the movie should be huge, especially with good reviews. But if the virus messes that up, there is no do-over, and no amount of Blu-ray sales would make up for that. So releasing it at the same time as Spectre and Skyfall is actually a smart move. And right now, the main movie that has competition at this point is Godzilla vs. Kong, which may have to be moved again. For F9, it also makes sense as the franchise makes most of its money internationally, and especially in China. Even if it performs as expected in America, it could stand to lose a few hundred million elsewhere. But right now, it stands that an already weak-looking year at the box office will be hit even more, and I do think a few more movies will be delayed. With the year Warner Brothers has had last year, they cannot afford Wonder Woman 1984 to disappoint. If movies are making less and less heading into June, that will be moved. But again, uh, if you have not listened to Box Office Receipts Plus, a lot of Warner Brothers movies bombed based on the budget and 
gross comparison with Joker honestly balancing out a lot of it. For Disney, Mulan is too late, but I think that movie's performance will affect if Black Widow mo- will move, as that is the big summer hero super, as that is the big summer superhero blockbuster this year, and while not expected to make past a billion, it should do at least 700 million worldwide. And right now, the opening China will be a mess as all the Chinese New Year movies will be coming out basically, I would assume, all at once, and then you have Hollywood releasing. So whenever they decide to open up, that will be a scheduling hell to try and figure out. For now, I'll keep you updated when these changes occur. For next week, we have a few movies with a Vin Diesel action movie with Bloodshot and a thriller movie with The Hunt. My Spy was supposed to also come out, but that got a last second delay to April, so oh well. Right now, I think both of these movies will not perform well thanks to the virus keeping people who do not need to go to the theaters away. Like, is anyone really screaming to go see Bloodshot? I, 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 don't, I don't think so. So I think none of them will take first place, leaving Onward to go back to back. So my predictions for the weekend top five are first place Onward, second place Bloodshot, third place The Invisible Man, fourth place The Hunt, and fifth place Sonic the Hedgehog. The way back did not even crack 10 million on his opening weekend, so we'll not have a good drop next week, leaving Sonic holding on for fifth place. But with the mess the virus is making, what do you think will be in the top five this weekend? Let me know on Instagram at Tyler Callahan Media or on Facebook. Link to the page is in the show notes. Also, I may be unable to record next week's episode. If that's the case, then there will be one two weeks from now. You can follow updates on that on Twitter at Tyler Callahan95. Thanks for listening.